today I am on my way to Tallman Square Memory Care Unit at Western Homes and I'm really excited to get to spend more time with Jean. She's the first resident I've worked with for this project and I'm just really excited to see how things go with her. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> Emma Jean. Yeah? Do you remember the song, You Are My Sunshine? Yeah. you remember that song? Yeah. Would you like to listen to it? <laughs> let's, let's do it. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, yep. I dreamed I held you in my You know this one? Yep. I had a really great time listening to music with Emma Jean today. Uh, whenever we'd play a song, she would always be tapping her hand or tapping her foot, which makes me think I did have the right kind of music. However, she wasn't really talking about any memories that she had, and if she did have those memories, I don't think she was able to communicate them very well. After Emma Jean and I listened to some music together, I would ask her a few simple questions, just trying to gauge where she was at cognitively, and I don't think that I saw really any change. Uh, however, I did get to observe Emma Jean during one of her music therapy sessions, and that was a very special time. Uh, it was really neat just to see Emma Jean so joyful, and I think she really enjoyed the social aspect of music therapy. Residents are exposed to um, music therapy led by a music therapist about three times a week for approximately 30 minute sessions. Um, they also listen to music passively throughout the day um, if they're seated in our main activity area all day. Music therapy has a great effect on clients with dementia. Many of our residents actively participate in our interventions that include singing, movement, instrument play. We do a lot of socialization and reminiscing as well. All the time. We always see residents tapping their leg or tapping their toes. We even at Tallman Square individually we have residents who will get up and dance. You'll see them dancing in their seats and we've had ones get up and start dancing <laughs> with their walkers as well. As a recreational therapist, I implement activities to residents who need assistance in initiating and participating in leisure pursuits. These activities can benefit the resident cognitively, physically, socially, and emotionally. Um, the other difference between uh, therapeutic music and music therapy is that we have a process to what we do as music therapists. We come in with an assessment, um, so every resident that we see, we complete an assessment on them to see if they're even appropriate for music therapy. We complete an individualized treatment plan where we uh, create goals and objectives for that client, whether it be movement goals or socialization goals or cognitive stimulation goals. Um, and then we implement those changes using, a, um, using music intervention. Gabrielle. Music can elicit a variety of emotions in them. Um, they can be very happy emotions, very joyful emotions, but it could also be a trigger for some residents and bring up very um, upsetting emotions as well. And so that's why it's important to have a certified music therapist who can um, help with, uh, help them deal with some of those emotions. When you hear that song, do you think of anything? Nothing. Tell me about it. Alright. Tell me about what you think. 
Phyllis today was that she was unable to remember her daughter's name before we were playing music and then after we played music she was able to recall her name. Um, other than that I don't think Phyllis seemed too interested in the music. Um, it may have been the wrong music, it could have been just the kind of day she was having or it could have been her musical background. Today I'm headed to Parker's Place Retirement Community in Parkersburg and I'm working with my third resident and her name is Beverly and I'm really hoping to see some significant changes today. Um, the first two residents had some awesome changes but I'm hoping to communicate even more of what I've seen uh, throughout my time. So. resident that I've worked with, um, I saw two really significant changes, which is really great. The first change that I saw is that before we played any music, she could not remember what instrument she used to play. Uh, it's, a, it's a thing that you can make noise on. After we played music, she was just raving about how passionately she used to play the saxophone when she was younger. So I thought that was really cool. significant change that I saw with Beverly today is after we played some music we were having a conversation about her family and she mentioned that one of her sons had a son of his own so she was able to remember her grandson and then less than 10 minutes later we were talking about her same son and she told me that she didn't have a grandson so short-term memory was there with music and then it was lost after about 10 minutes which was really interesting to see. 